Jackson making his first appearance in the series and Peter Garrett determined to make up for his failure to score points in the first round the racing in the final promised plenty. Just moments or two particularly involving Ron Pine back in the field as he got trapped up on the fence. Bernie Whale and the leader. Coming through on the inside is Ken Baker and Ken Baker is going to go to the lead. Stu Robertson is going to come up on the inside of Whalen who's trapped up high at the moment and Robertson bumps on the inside of Bernie Whalen using a little bit of shoulder muscle to push his way through. Here's Darrell Farrelly coming up on the inside of Graham Lilford in the battle for fourth and fifth place as Lilford joins onto the tail of the Stu Robertson Corvette coming down main straightaway. Robertson moving up on the outside of Whalen trying to kid him into moving up. He did so too. Baker in a bit of trouble up front. He can't keep the car on the track. Robertson's gone off the track. Lilford is dropped back to well, fifth place at the moment as Peter Garrett again collides with the concrete wall. John Pine goes up into third place. Bob Brewer is running fourth. John Pine, the man now to put the pressure to Bernie Whalen. Ken Baker's making all sorts of mistakes up front, but he's getting away with it each time because no one can get past Bernie Whalen at the moment. Here's John Pine getting past Whalen as they come out of turn four, and now John Pine will set out after the leader, Ken Baker. Baker's still the leader. Pine coming up on the inside of him again in second place, but Baker's still got him covered. Bob Brewer's getting up out of the pack into third place as well. And at this stage of the car race, Bob Brewer would take the outright lead in the series because he is four cars ahead of Don McEwen. Here's Pine getting up on the inside of Baker. Is Pine going to get the lead in turn one? Yes, he does. And John Pine goes through to the lead. Ken Baker drifts out wide. Bob Brewer gets through on the inside of him. And I think Brewer will now become the outright series leader here because he's up into second place behind John Pine. Here's Brewer moving up on the outside of Pine. Pine keeping that uh, good line, making it very hard for Brewer. John Pine is boiling. I think I can see steam coming out from underneath that car. John Pine, I think, starting to run hot. And Bob Brewer's moving up on the outside of him. John Pine snuck a break. I think that's the break he wanted. Here's Brewer coming at Bajan on the outside. He's going to try and keep John Pine in his sights. John Pine's gone. Bob Brewer's going to get him. Pine on the inside. Brewer on the outside. Brewer up on the inside. Pine's gone. There's a lap to go. Ron Pine's going to grab John Pine too. Ron Pine goes round the outside of John Pine. And Bob Brewer is going to come home and take the chequered flag. Oh, Ron Pine's on fire. A wall going the Ron Pine car. John Pine second. Ron Pine on fire across the line. That car is blazing flame from out underneath it. He's keeping it going. This is a brilliant piece of driving by Ron Pine to keep it going because that means that he'll kill all the fuel out of the exhaust system. Very cool and calm, Ron Pine. That's a great piece of uh, cool, calm driving by Ron Pine. To keep your cool under those circumstances is just a brilliant piece of driving. What a finish to the second round of the ISP Masters. Five minutes, 49.411 the time. Bob Brewer, John Pine, I think, got back up for second place. And Ron Pine, who was a ball of fire, coming across the finish line in third place and a brilliant piece of driving under pressure to keep that engine pumping.